Good morning, guys. <clears throat> huh. You tell I haven't spoken this morning. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, January... Oh, what is it? January 25th. Um, it is 33 degrees outside. Um, I know a lot of you are a lot colder. Some of you are a lot warmer. But 33 in January in Maryland is about normal for this time of year, but it's about normal for this time of year for like all day. Um, but we're actually going up to like 45 or 47 today. So it almost feels warm, but I believe that I am at the stage of my life where I am either freezing all the time or I'm roasting all the time. There's like no in between, I'm never comfortable. So, today I happen to be, I'm wearing a sweater. Um, I do have my heat on in my car, but very low, but I do have my sweater rolled up because I switch between freezing and roasting today. So as you can see, my eyes today are a little puffy and baggy. Um, and you should know that the last couple of days I've been very moody and I've been, um, you know, I, I've been sour and I've been emotional and I don't really, I really, other than the fact that, you know, it was that week, um, I can't really pinpoint why this past week has been bad. I usually don't get this emotional during this week, but a friend pointed out that once a year or sometimes twice a year, I do get weepy. So I guess this was my weepy, although I didn't really cry too much until yesterday. Um, Norm and I had a very small, like, disagreement. It wasn't even like an argument, really. Um, not for us, anyway. And I cried, like, and I didn't really even care about the argument that much. Um, but he seemed to be in a really bad mood. And I think I was in a really bad mood and I just cried. And instead of fighting and arguing, I just cried. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. And then we just kind of went to bed and this morning we woke up and I don't, I didn't really see him that much this morning, but um, we did speak, but very little. I think, we, but we don't talk that much in the morning anyway. We're not morning people. Um, so anyway, I am feeling better today, but I, but nothing has changed, you know, um, on the job front, nothing's going to change. So I got to give up on that right now, not give up on what I want, but give up on every single day being mad because nothing has changed. Now, it, it's not even possible for anything to change right now. I, it's not it, the way that our the structure of our school system works it's not even possible at this moment in January for there to be any movement at all so it is what it is I you know I'm I'm stuck for now and that's okay um, yesterday I got asked a question that made me question about next year which made me question what I'm doing this year. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain that without, I don't know, giving too much information, I guess. Um, but anyway, so I had a, um, an appointment last night. Usually my appointments last for like an hour. So it should have been from like 6.30 to 7.30. Um, it ended up going from six, almost 6.30 to um, like nine. And that's just because we were chatting. Um, she's really easy to chat with, um, the, my client. So I got to get better at this. So my fee for what I do is $40 for an hour for that particular portion of what I do. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, I've been here two hours or I've been here an hour and a half. Can I give you more? And I always say no. And I also have people who say I don't charge enough. 
and they always want to give me more. Now, if they insist, if they just hand me the money and say, you know, like I have one client who, um, my, my fee is $40 for an hour and he gives me 80, like every single time. Um, so for him, like he just hands it to me. He doesn't even ask. But when my clients ask like, Oh, I've been here two hours or I've been here an hour and a half. You know, what's my charge now? I always still say $40 and I got to get better at that because this is my business and, um, my, my time matters and I've got to, I've got to start, um, I guess saying something. I don't know. Or, or, or I just got to start keeping track of my time a little better. Now when I have um, back to back appointments, I do, I actually set a timer and maybe I need to start doing that with all of them and pretending like I have a second one. I don't know. I don't know. But some of my clients, I just love to talk to too. Like I have some favorites that if we sat there till like 10, I wouldn't care because they're like friends now. So it's like catching up. But anyway, um, I know you guys don't care about that. Um, so last night after she left, my intention was to have like a shake and bake chicken and um, vegetables and some potatoes, but it was nine o'clock. So I didn't want that anymore. So I had a lean cuisine mac and cheese that I had bought this week. Um, and I had some leftover chili on top of that. And so it was like seven points. Um, so it was good. It, it was, it was not filling really, um, or, I don't even know if it was that satisfying, but it was nine o'clock and, um, I was ready for bed. So, um, I went ahead and ate that. And then I had a like a cup, about a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. I don't know of, um, of pudding, which is the pudding. I call it, I call it faux cheesecake. It's, it was chocolate pudding, sugar-free chocolate pudding mix in with, um, yogurt, um, non-fat Greek yogurt and, um, some PB2, which was, and Cool Whip. So I had two points of Cool Whip and one point of PB2, which I don't even really think I had one point, but that's what it is. So you can't really go lower than one point. I don't know. Amber made it. So it's hard to tell. And, um, everything else was zero, right? I think that's right. I don't know. I'd have to look at my tracker, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's how I ended my day. I actually ended my day with like eight points. So I didn't get a blue dot, but that's okay. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I could track the PB2. I gotta get back and look. Um, so my weight has not changed. Jumped on the scale again today. It is still exactly the same. I swear to you guys, I'm starting to think that my scale has like a memory. And when I get on it, it like goes, oh, this is what you weighed yesterday. So this is what you weigh today too. Because it's just not moving. It's not budging. But nothing else is moving either. So I, I think I'm going to have to start doing my tea, my detox tea, maybe twice a week and not once a week. Um, or find something else. I've got to find something else to, um, possibly everyday thing. Like I'm taking a probiotic. It's not doing nothing. First couple of days it did. Now it's doing nothing. Um, I'm taking a multivitamin, which I've heard can actually cause the opposite effect. Um, I'm taking gummies, but I also am finding that the gummies, I don't feel like are doing much either. Like they're supposed to be good for my hair and skin and nails. And they're supposed to be good for my, um, energy level, which is what I really wanted was an energy boost. Um, I don't feel like my nails are growing any faster than normal. My hair is my hair. My hair grows fast anyway. Um, but it grows out, not down. I don't know how to explain that, but, um, so I don't know. I don't know that that multivitamin is doing anything for me. Um, I don't know. I think I want to do a little more research on kind of the vitamins and the pro, but I have got to find something to figure out this gut. It is just getting to the point where I believe it's causing part of my, um, sluggishness, my, my, is it called lethargy? 
I always wanted to call it lethargy, but I guess it's lethargy. Anyway, um, because I'm, I'm carrying around how many pounds of whatever is inside of me. Um, I think it's why my weight's not moving, obviously. I think it's why I'm such a, a slow turtle when it is moving. Um, but so yeah, I mean my, so my weight is still concerning to me, um, because I am in a, a stall in my opinion, a plateau and I do not want to be one of those people who are in a plateau for like ever. Um, because I know me and eventually I'm going to go, this isn't working. So screw it. I'm going to have cake. Um, I don't think that Norm is going to stick with Weight Watchers after this six months that he signed up for because I don't think he's losing fast enough for him. So it's his journey. I, I can't I can't change his journey. Um, but I believe that he feels like he's not losing fast enough. And 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 personally, I kind of understand where he's coming from. Before he started Weight Watchers he ate like one time a day. Now don't get me wrong, it was junk and it was a ton and calorie wise, he was probably eating a lot more because of what he was eating and, and things like that. Um, but he, he was eating just the one time a day and now he feels like he's eating a lot more food and his point, I mean, he never makes his points. Like he's got like 43 points. And I told him, I'm like, you got to eat your points. Um, the problem is I make such low point food because he's got like 43, I think. I make such low point food because I have half of that. And um, he eats what I make him. And then he's not getting his points every day. So what he's filling it up with is kind of junk. Um, he found these ring dings that are like lava cake ring dings. You keep them in the freezer and then you put them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and they're eight points. Well, he has two of them and he can have those two ring dings every night and still be within and still be under his points. Makes me so mad. Um, but anyway, it, it, an eight point dessert for me makes me want to cry, but I have, it happens sometimes. Um, but anyway, he, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what his thing is. I know that also he's still, um, his company will do things like buy pizza or take him out for burgers. And I don't know that, you know, I, I'm not his babysitter and I don't know that he is always, um, I know he's always tracking, but I know that when you eat out, you, you sometimes are tracking your, 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 um, guesstimating. And I don't know if maybe that's happening for him. Um, I don't know. It, it's his journey. I, I don't think he tracks his coffee correctly. But he also tracks his tuna over. So, I don't know. Um, I'm rambling. But, so, anyway. I'm not feeling... I'm, I'm trying to force myself to feel better. But... I just don't and I think a lot of it has to do with my gut health and and I I'm I believe that so you know a couple days ago it was hashtag blame freestyle hashtag blame Oprah now it's like hashtag blame the gut I don't know but I'm gonna do a little research on that today today I also want to do some meal planning and get my um, shopping list about ready for the weekend it is Thursday, so um, I also want to send out a um, uh, a text message to Amber and Josh and Norm and Carly and find out if there is anything that they want or are craving for next week. I do think we're going to have fajitas for Tuesday because I already have them in the freezer ready to go, um, but it'll be up to Amber. We might make a second dish. But everything this week's been really good. But I think that when I make like the turkey ground beef, it seems to be a little heavy for me. I guess because I eat so much chicken. I don't know. But turkey ground beef, that's not even a thing. Ground turkey. I don't know. 
but so I think I also might look up some recipes today on my break. Um, I am considering doing the step challenge with um, Julie from Living Large on Weight Watchers. The problem is my, my mental goal is always 10,000 steps because that's what Fitbit says it's supposed to be. Um, but I usually hit like 8,000 steps a day, which gives me fit points. So I'm fine with that and I don't use them anyway. So I'm thinking about making my personal goal 9,000 steps a day or something like that. So I want to watch my, I don't, it, to be totally honest with you, half the time I don't even look at my Fitbit for, for steps. I use it as a watch, but I, I use it to see like, cause it'll remind me, it'll buzz and it'll say, you know, you haven't walked in a while and I'll get up and take a couple of steps. Um, so I think I'm going to start tracking it or going back and looking at it, seeing where I've been at night and how close I've been to like 10,000 a couple of times and, and not even cared. Um, but I, I don't know if I want to stick with 10,000 or 9,000. Um, I think that I get 7,000 without trying. Like I think my day on a normal basis, I would get 7,000. But I think if I'm going to try and make sure that I get more, I'm going to have to go to eight or nine. Um, I used to be able to leave my building and walk a little bit, but um, because we're under construction right now, there's just nowhere for me to walk. Um, so I don't know. And, and it's not conducive right now for me to walk outside at home because I have no street lights and it's cold and dark by the time I get home and I'm just not going to do it. Um, but I could walk on the treadmill, but I find when I walk on the treadmill, I don't get the steps than if I walk a mile somewhere else. Um, and I don't hold the rails, so I don't know why. Maybe I hold my hands differently. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm on my way to work. I'm going to be at work in a couple of minutes. I will try to remember to show you food. Today, I did take pictures of my food yesterday, and I put them in there with the points. Um, I will try to remember to do that today, although I don't really have anything exciting today. Um, I am working on my cup of coffee. I do have a second cup in there. This one's been staying hot today for some reason, and normally this cup doesn't do that. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so here's my lunch, or my, I'm sorry, my breakfast today. It is my egg um, and veggie um, cup or bowl, and this is zero points. This has very little cheese in it, and then I'm going to have some fruit to go along with that, and that is going to be my breakfast. So I wanted to show you my meal prep, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my meal plan. This is how I do this. The top stuff is mine, the bottom is Norm's. So for breakfast next week, I'm gonna have my egg cup every day and he has a bagel thin sandwich, which is just eggs, bacon, and cheese. For lunch next week, we're gonna do salads again, but I'm gonna use all of this over here to kind of go over here. So I'm gonna do dinner first and then I'll show you lunch. So we're gonna do chicken nuggets using shake and bake and the air fryer and french fries in also in the air fryer. Um, I'm going to do chicken quesadillas um, with ole wraps and cheese and um, peppers and onions and some taco seasoning, refried beans, rice, and corn. I'm going to do chicken parmesan with shake and bake, some cheese, and some um, no fat or some homemade marinara sauce so it's no points and then some whole wheat pasta or if somebody wants to put it on a sub roll and make it like a chicken parm sub. And then I'm going to do stuffed peppers, like cheesesteak stuffed peppers. And then I'll do some type of side. And then what I'm going to do over here is the first day, we're just going to take some of the chicken that we um, cook up. Because I'll be able to cook up all of this chicken, kind of, except for the parm, um, together. And then I'll make this into chicken salad. And I'll put it on top of a salad green. And then the next day, whatever nuggets are left over, if there's any, we'll put on the salad. If there's no nuggets left over, then I'll just do tuna. The boys will get tuna wraps. Um, 
Mexican chicken salad, so whatever's left over from the chicken quesadilla when we're done building them will go in a salad. Same with the whatever's left over in the state cheesesteak stuffed peppers will go in the salad. And then on Friday, just some tuna greens or something else. Um, and that is what, I don't know why that says eight. Oh, that bothers me. Anyway, so this is my meal plan for the week. And then off of that, I made my shopping list, which I'm not gonna go over with you, but that is how I do it. Hi guys, it is Thursday, still January 25th, still. But now it's four o'clock in the afternoon and um, I'm on my way home. I took pictures of my breakfast, which was my egg cup and my um, fruit. I did not take pictures of my lunch because I did not eat my lunch. I ate some crackers and my fruit, and then I had two, excuse me, Belvita bars. So that's like four points. Um, they're like pumpkin Belvita. I don't know. I just was like, I didn't really want what I brought. I had a, um, I brought a wrap like a chicken salad wrap. And in the past, I would have brought that and totally um, thrown it away and gone out and gotten, I don't even know, Burger King maybe. Um, and I considered it today. I actually, for the first time all school year, considered going out and getting something junky. But I didn't. Um, I just had what I had on hand and ate that. I'm not really, I wasn't hungry hungry. Um, I was just like, I wanted something salty. So I had my crackers, I had my fruit, and like I said, and then later I had like some Belvita bars, um, or Belvita cookies, I guess they're called. Um, so all together I had two, three, four, five, six. So I've had six points today, right? Because I had two for crackers, and then I had four for Belvita bar. So yeah, I've had six points today. So, um, is that right? Yeah, so 17 points left, right? 23, 21, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. 17 points left, okay. So not too bad. Tonight I am having um, chicken, um, breaded chicken, but it's like shake and bake breaded chicken and I'm going to have that with some vegetables and some roasted potatoes for probably probably five-ish points of the roasted potatoes. So um, I'm not too worried about my dinner tonight because that should be about five, about seven points. Um, and I still have 17, so that gives me 10. Um, and I'm sure that I will find a way to set, spend at least five of those on dessert of some type. Um, and that's really all I have for tonight. So, um, yeah, I just want to get home and, um, it's one of those days. It's 38 degrees outside right now. Um, I don't know that we ever really got to our 40, whatever it was supposed to be. Um, I've got some work I need to do at home. I don't know that I'll actually do it or even be able to do it. Um, when I get home, cause I need to use a computer and I don't know that I can get to what I need to have, but Either way, I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So when I um, eat tonight, um, I will show that to you. I'll drop in a picture of my um, dinner. I will drop in a picture of my tracker if I can. I am at 5,125 steps. I'll probably get 7,000, maybe six something before tonight's over. I um, didn't walk as much today in my classroom because I was grading a test during... Um, when I normally would have been. Well, first of all, they took a test, which means I wasn't walking around all that much. Um, and then I was grading the test at another time during the day when they were doing some reading um, and they didn't really need me. Um, and they were answering questions and whatever and working independently. So they were able to come in conference with me so I didn't have to actually like get up. Um, so yeah, I didn't get enough um, steps in my opinion today. So um, there is a funky smell like they are working on something around here. It's almost like a paint thinner smell. I mean, I hope it's not in my car, but anyway. Um, so yeah, as soon as I eat something or um, get finished the day, I will take a picture of that and throw that in here. Um, but for now, I'm gonna log off here. I'm gonna turn on some YouTube and listen to that on the way home, chew some gum and try to get home as quickly as I can because I am just burned out on today. <laughs>